don't do it. I'm telling you, don't do it, bruh. There's no reason, no reason at all to spend 3K on a Peloton bike or any smart bike for that matter, especially when you can buy a cheaper bike with these five accessories, you'll turn it smart, still getting an efficient workout, and you'll be able to track your progress. And before we start, I just wanna let everyone know that I bought a bike from Sunny Fitness. It's a magnetic resistance bike. There are bikes that have pads in them for the resistance, which is A-OK -okay as well. Uh, but the magnetic resistance is really smooth and really even. So just wanted to put that out there, but you do not have to spend a lot of money to get fit. All right, let's get started. What's up y'all, it's Josh again from Chill Deeply, and I'm gonna run you through this list real quick. And number one on this list is gonna have to be a heart rate monitor. So above everything else on this list, the heart rate monitor should be number one after you get your spin bike. It's gonna let you know how efficient you're doing in your workout. Now, whether you get a chest strap, whether you get an armband, whether you have a Fitbit, whether you have an Apple Watch, whatever, as long as you can track it real time, it'll let you know what you're doing. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is take 220 minus your age, that'll give you your maximum heart rate. And about 65% to 95% of that is sort of where you want to be in your range. So once you find those numbers out, you don't need anything else and you'll know how efficient you're doing with your workout. Whether you're on a spin bike, whether you're just lifting weights or doing whatever, a heart rate monitor is going to let you know how to do that. So the second thing on this list is going to be a cadence sensor. And I bought one from Wahoo Fitness, which is pretty much the industry standard here. Uh, and what a cadence sensor does is sort of tracks your RPMs, tracks your, your revolutions per minute or how many times around uh, your pedal is going. And this is important because matched with your heart rate monitor, it's gonna let you know your output. A lot of these other cheaper spin bikes don't give you a readout of what your output is or what your resistance is. So matching it with a cadence sensor along with your heart rate monitor will sort of let you know how hard you're pedaling. For instance, if you're just warming up and it's all the way down to zero and then you're pedaling at about 90 RPMs, uh, but your heart rate isn't up, then you know you either need to raise your resistance or you need to start pedaling faster. So it's a good gauge in terms of letting you know your output, letting you know how fast you're pedaling, letting you know how hard you're working. Now, number three on this list is gonna be a speed sensor. Again, I bought mine from Wahoo Fitness and what this is gonna do is let you know your speed, right? But what it's also gonna do is let you know your distance. So a lot of people like to work out and say, okay, I'm gonna ride 15 miles today. I'm gonna ride 20 miles today. So you're gonna be able to do that. But in conjunction with the cadence sensor, in conjunction with the heart rate monitor, now you're really starting to make this bike smart, right? You're really starting to gamify your workout. So it's just gonna keep you coming back. It's gonna keep you in the know in terms of how you're doing with your workout. It's really gonna make it fun for you now uh, that you have the speed, the cadence, and the heart rate monitor all together. So before we get to number four on this list, I just wanna let everyone know that I will never, ever, Stop in the middle of my videos and ask you guys to like and subscribe. I hate when other people do it, so I will save you the time and not do it myself. I won't do it. We'll never do it. All right, so number four on this list is going to be a smart app. Now, this is super important because an app is gonna sort of bring everything together, right? Wahoo Fitness does a really good job of bringing all the apps that you connect with it together. Uh, but I use an app called Strava, which is specifically made for runners and bikers. Uh, and it brings my cadence information. It brings my heart rate information. It calculates how many calories I've burned. It gives me a, a relative output score and everything like that. If you have a, uh, an Apple phone or an Apple watch, you can use Apple Health Kit. I also use Google Fit. If you have a Fitbit, you can use Fitbit. There's a myriad apps out there and they all for the most part sync together so you can get information in other spots if you need to so number four on the list would definitely be a smart app and to round this list off number five is going to be a seat cushion because your ass is gonna hurt trust me uh, these cushions that come on some of these bikes are not comfortable at all uh, you can sort of tough your way through but over time especially when you do those longer rides you're gonna want a gel pad or something uh, to save your ass so number five on the list will be a seat cushion all right, y'all, that's going to do it for another video on Chill Deeply. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. I think I have an idea of exactly what I want to do with this channel. Um, these fitness videos are just coming out of the blue just because I'm in quarantine, but I will have some tech stuff coming pretty soon here uh, and possibly some cool video stuff that I like to do. So thanks again. Please like and subscribe if you guys like this content, and I will catch you on the flip. Chill Deeply.